Mari DS software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.redslibrary.com Hi everybody, first time I'm with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, uh, solar parabolic trough uh, collector. Uh, what is the main concept? Uh, how can we run our model? Uh, first of all, uh, solar parabolic trough it's um, it's a, it's a device for uh, capturing or harvesting solar uh, energy for uh, huge applications. Uh, parabolic trough it's a, it's a type of solar thermal collector that um, is straight in, in one dimension and give it as a parabola. In the other two, uh, lined with a, a polished metal mirror, uh, which is sunlight uh, enters the mirror uh, parallel to its plane uh, symmetry, is, uh, which is focused along uh, the focal line. Uh, where objects uh, are uh, positioned uh, that are intended to be uh, heated. The trough is usually aligned on a north-south axis and uh, rotated to uh, track uh, the sun or how to capture uh, the sun rays as move as moves uh, across uh, the sky uh, each day. Uh, it's uh, the basic idea is is to heat uh, the fluid uh, along a, a, a line concentrated. Uh, which is, this is a parabolic uh, trough chip. Uh, this is reflected coating mirrors. This is a rotational X, a fluid entrance, fluid out, uh, uh, fluid input and output. Sun rays, uh, which hit uh, the mirror, uh, is focused on along the, uh, the focal line. Uh, it's application it's for uh, concentrated solar power. Uh, some applications, this is a famous application with, uh, suppose we are going to use, we can use uh, heat transfer oil, we can use uh, molten salt. Um, uh, as you can see here, this purple trough field, this rose, and we have here thermal energy storage, we have uh, hot storage and cold storage. And then we are going to change the heat, massive uh, thermal power uh, capture. This is a solar cycle and this is a steam ranking cycle. And we can uh, use a boiler heat exchanger in intermediate unit in order to transfer a, a thermal power uh, through the turbine units and uh, order to generate uh, uh, energy. Okay, uh, we are going, this model is it's, uh, it's simple, it's a performance model. It, it's, uh, it is not a, a, a complete cycle, it's just uh, uh, recognizing uh, the performance of parabolic trough collector in case of using a molten salt. Uh, therefore, we are going to, uh, uh, to examine what is the outlet collector temperature, what is uh, uh, the uh, the mean temperature, receiver temperature, what is the energy stream, the performance analysis, uh, flow factor, heat remover factor, efficiency, what is the effect of ambient temperature, and, and so on. Let's go and see what we can do about it. Okay, go to your destination folder, so you download the model and double clicking. Okay, uh, this, this is your model, it should be appear like this one. Okay. Uh, you have to double click on this block. Let's emphasize here a little bit. Okay. Uh, what we are going to do here is to assign some inputs like uh, solar radiation, uh, ambient temperature, elliptic fluid temperature, uh, wind speed. Suppose I'm going for 0.5 meter per second. Okay. Um, and we can assign some. Uh, this is total mass flow rate. Um, total mass flow rate, number of loops, what is the, the loops that we are going to use, suppose it's uh, 20 loops, 
كوليكتور سيجمنت لينس كوليكتور ويدث فوكال فوكال لينس ريسيفر دايمتر او جلاس انفلوب دايمتر اند سم فيزيكال بروبرتيز سوتش از ميتال تايب جلاس كفر اميتنس ابزوربر اميتنس اند ريسيفر اميتنس اوكي We can run our model. This is our model. We are going to discover the following mass flow rate through the uh, uh, the propeller collector, uh, flow speed, Reynolds number, uh, aperture area, receiver area, area of the recover, concentration area, uh, outlet cover temperature, glass cover temperature, receiver temperature. Out, mean temperature, mean receiver temperature, outlet feed temperature, and uh, mean uh, feed temperature, efficiency factor, full factor, heat removal, overall heat loss, over, overall heat transfer coefficient, use of energy, and collector efficiency. Okay, uh, let's head on. We have we have to do this first. I will. Let's see the effect on uh, on temperatures, as you can see here. And set our simulation time into infinity. Sure, you can uh, you can change this. Uh, you can make this. You can enter matrix here. I can enter matrix, but I prefer to go dynamically. Let's save our. Uh, let's hit run. Okay, let's make some changes. I, I suppose I'm going to increase um, uh, uh, solar radiation, as you can see here, so increasing solar radiation. We are going. We are using uh, a molten salt. Yes, this is glass cover, increasing solar radiation, as you can see here, increasing solar radiation. Uh, I suppose I'm going to increase uh, mass flow rate also. Suppose I'm going for uh, uh, 200 kilogram per second, as you can see here, 200 kilogram per second. Okay, okay. Increasing uh, solar radiation up to uh, increasing. You can increase also or controlling uh, ambient temperature and increasing solar radiation up to uh, uh, High levels, suppose it's 1000 watt per meter square. Okay, 1000. As you can see here, we have uh, this inlet flow temperature. Suppose we are going, I am going for 150, 150, uh, or 200, 200 for multiple centers. Quite interesting. Okay, you can change uh, this mass flow rate. So suppose I'm decreasing again up to 100 uh, okay as you can see here this is our result that result let's stop uh, yes this is a solar barbell efficiency this is performance analysis this is error percentage almost zero uh, useful energy uh, delivered by the solar field uh, overall heat transfer coefficient, overall loss coefficient, uh, heat removal factor. We have to keep these uh, factors uh, not below than uh, 80% because this is uh, heat removal factor, flow factor, and efficiency factor. This is very important. This mean feed uh, temperature, a receiver outlet feed temperature. Outlet feed temperature is uh, 55, 550. A degree Celsius is quite good for uh, concentrated solar power related to uh, uh, molten salt. Uh, let's go and draw some figures. As you can see here, you can also go here and you can collect your output results, uh, suppose it matrix or not. Okay, let's do some figures here. Yes, uh, this total mass flow rate, I already changed it. Um, this is input. Uh, there is no need for this. Yes, this is um, useful or gain energy delivered uh, in case of increasing 
uh, our inputs and this, this is when we decreased uh, the mass flow rate uh, this is electrical uh, temperature okay this is input this is mass flow rate this mass flow rate uh, changing uh, uh, mass flow per per, uh, per liter of this flow speed okay you can uh, outlet uh, yes outlet uh, solar feed temperature while increasing uh, uh, the mass flow rate there is some decreasing in uh, in uh, outlet temperature because increasing mass flow rate means increasing the flow speed uh, this for it, it can lower uh, the outlet temperature and the same effect you can this mean feed temperature okay this is mean feed temperature and we have here uh, uh, um, cover temperature this cover temperature you can uh, receive the mean temperature mean receiver temperature mean cover temperature and uh, uh, mean feed temperature this efficiency factor let's see a yes efficiency factor and this is flow factor the same range this flow factor here okay and this is a heat removal factor i can do this uh, on another one let's see uh, flow factor here okay and this is thermal efficiency of the purple curve. let's see here okay uh, it's simple it's simple this is a solar solar radiation uh, it's what we do. it's uh, input uh, you can uh, control uh, you the performance of your purple turf collector uh, by uh, controlling the, uh, some in some environmental operating conditions such as solar field therefore you have you can measure the performance and you can design your parabolic trough based on the best operating conditions. Uh, you can control uh, the area, uh, expecting the output uh, of uh, uh, solar field temperature, top temperature, or mean receiver temperature. It's a performance model, very interesting, and uh, uh, you can handle your output data easily, as you can see here. Okay, finally, uh, don't forget to download the uh, cooling tower simulator model. It's quite an interesting model. It's a design model about uh, what is the, uh, the effect of some operating condition on the height of the cooling tower, uh, the diameter, the throat diameter, the base diameter, and so on. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much.